Foreign Affairs Correspondent Moyo Thomas live for us there in Abuja. Away from that, let's turn to the U.S., where the United States is making plans to send an additional 1,500 active duty troops to the U.S.-Mexico US border in anticipation of an influx of migrants. Pentagon Press Secretary Brigadier General Patrick Ryder confirmed this in a press briefing on Tuesday. He said the troops are expected to start arriving as early as May 10th, when the Title 42 Public Health Authority expires. Officials say the troops will not do law enforcement work, but will focus on administrative tasks so that U.S. Customs and Border Protection can work in the field. Brigadier General Ryder says the 1,500 additional troops will come from the Army and the Marine Corps. 2,500 active duty National Guardsmen are already supporting Customs and Border Protection at the border. Yeah, so really this is about uh, being responsive. Uh, DHS has asked us uh, for this support, uh, and so uh, the ability to rapidly provide support from our active duty forces uh, is, is really the key here. Uh, again, um, we are, as I mentioned, we're evaluating options to look at potentially replacing some of those forces uh, with reserve or contracted support. And as you know, calling up reserve component forces involves some time associated with that. Uh, and so by tasking the active duty forces, we're able to meet this request uh, very urgently uh, and, and support uh, DHS.